Hello. <laughs> We've just done the bee farm in Barrow called a B and B B E E. Hamish is the guy that showed us all the bees. He's really good. How nice is he? It's quite expressive as well, so it's quite entertaining. Cost is around $130 each. Starts at 10. It usually goes for two hours because there's another session in the afternoon. Uh, he, he did say that he could go on and on talking about bees, which I get because there's so much to learn. The bees are so important in the world and in our lives. Hamish did talk a lot so he helped me basically put all these together because I will just be putting all the information that he said in this video uh, but yeah enjoy watching 370 years ago uh, there's this guy in America called uh, Lorenzo Langshoff he lodged a patent for this beehive and we still use all his dimensions he was like the biggest innovator in agriculture pretty much ever. Uh, he was like the Steve Jobs to invent the iPhone. Um, he was revolutionary. Nothing has changed inside the hive. This is a new, brand new physical box, but all the dimensions are 170 years old. And it's remarkable. He was a Franciscan. Rather than like destroy the planet and kill the animals, Franciscans were more like, oh, do we need to do that? He was also an economist. And he was going, oh, Beekeeping was really inefficient, previous in the old system, right? And also cruel to the bees. So, he, because the old system was like a basket, like they had a, this, uh, they called it a skep, and this big basket thing, and they inside were the bees, and they would build all the comb inside. But basically, they, they flopped over. Basically, what they do, they, they build all their comb inside this basket thing, in these beautiful shapes, and with a tiny gap in between. <laughs> Give the hive a lift to see how heavy it was and they would go oh okay it's ready to harvest and so they would then take the bottom of this basket thing off shake as many bees as they could out into another basket which is ready then they would get all the wax and scrape it all out from inside and at that point they this is a this is where the cruelty comes into the bees they would basically uh, throw the whole lot into a big big thing of cauldron of water. All the baby bees, all the larvae, any bees that were left in there would all get killed. Didn't care, they heated it up a little bit. All the wax melted and came to the surface and so that's just beeswax. Comes to the surface and then they let it cool down and it ends up with this big large block of wax. They take that to the candle baker to make candles, right? Useful. But then they're left with this contaminated honey full of dead bees and it's gross really. They didn't care, they scooped all the dead bees off, added extra water, added yeast, and made alcohol, mead. So that's what I'm making here, the back here. See all those bottles? They're all different kinds of flavored mead. So the, they have a little gland at the bottom of each flower, right at the bottom, called the nectarary, and literally it attracts bees wasps, uh, little bats, everything to come in there. And they literally will lick, lick up that pollen, uh, the nectar, sorry. So that then as they come in and out of the flower, they're brushing up against the pollen, which mm -hmm. then will go to the next flower. The flowers, they get pollinated. And for the animals which go in there, they get sugar, they get uh, car carbohydrates for their food. The other thing is bees also do collect pollen as well. Pollen, I mean, bees are an animal, they need uh, complex carbohydrates, which are sugars, and they also need protein. We need protein in our diets. Uh, we can get it through tofu or meat or whatever. For bees, they get it through pollen. They don't order steaks. They um, have pollen. So let's do life cycle. 60 days. The bees, from the time the egg is laid to the time the bee dies, is 60 days and it's really simple 20 days uh, as an egg larvae and pupae so hatching then 20 days living inside the hive then another 20 days outside the hive where they're field bee they come home every night in that 40 days after they hatch 
the female worker bees have more than 60 different roles that we've been able to identify. Some of them they'll do for one minute, some of them they'll do for, for three days. Remarkable. The male bees, every time we do some research, we keep thinking there's got to be more to them, but they only have one job. You, you, you can, you've worked out what that question, what that is, yeah? <laughs> Because on a bear, they've worked out that the uh, they can't sting them through the fur, but they can get their uh, their mouth and their eyes and their nostrils, mm. and so they'll always tend to go for your face to start with. their protein and what they do I told you before about the bee bread so that is see that stuff in the corner there it's different it's like a crunchy kind of stuff there that is pollen so what they've done is mixed it with some wild yeast and some nectar and kneaded it together and stored it at the bottom of those wax cells and it's honey oh, so it's, it's um, fermenting breaking that cell wall down so you can see physically they're larger it doesn't hurt them, but it makes a different noise. Whoa! And that, what we can do is see a little bit better underneath now. Edges here. Look how impressive. What's honey coming? How does that come It is wax which the bees secrete out of their mouth. Yeah. Uh, imagine little, little microscopic uh, fish scales. Mm -hmm. And they literally lay it down with their, with their mouth, it comes out liquid. Yeah. And within seconds it dries. And so they're literally laying down little tiles of liquid hardens, and that is wax and it is from their body and it's from um literally they produce it from consuming honey yeah. of abs it's gonna go in I'll just look through oh we have to sing happy birthday there's one hatching oh. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so it's a female because it is in a flatter cell. Yeah, come on, darling, how'd you come? How long does it take to actually 
Now. And she's like, oh, I'm coming back. There is no juvenile phase. She is basically an adult being now. She will pretty much get to work. Straight away. She knows what to do. Oh, boy. Yeah, get back to work. If your phone has a 50, like a very wide angle lens, I'm going to guess you can put it right inside the hive. Like